let's make our promote button actually do something. Now all we said was make it change the appearance somehow. So when we build a list item, we do something with the remove button, right? Let's do something with this button too. Button dot promote. And it's a remove student, let's call it promote student. We know it's going to be an event handler, so we have to bind it to this in order for this to be the object. Otherwise, this will be the event target. We have another way of getting to the event target, so we don't need that at all. Plus, it's just a button click, so there's no default behavior anyway. So there's nothing we need to interrupt. So promote student. It's like all our non-DOM stuff. Remove students way up here. I'll put promote student up here too. Promote student. It'll receive an event. Don't forget your comma. All right. So once again, we're going to want to do something to the LI, right? So this still seems like a reasonable thing to do. Mm, and what should we do with it? We could manually change its style. We learned how to do that. So I could say li.style.background color, which we will camel case, equals, let's do pound FF A807. It's a nice golden. If your code isn't doing that, there's an extension that does that, and it's linked from the website on the tools page. Does it do it? Refresh. Hmm, where's everybody? Uh-oh. Our JSON's bad again. Hmm. Let's clear out local storage. Looks like we've got something to troubleshoot here in a minute. Somebody so add event listener of null on build list item line 95. Line 95. Button dot promote. Is that not what we called it? Yeah, I changed back the one and not the other. It's a button, not a link. Refresh. Add somebody. There we go. Promote one of them. Yay, it changes colors. I think the border color should change too. Shouldn't be gray. It should be a different shade of the same hue. So let's say li.style dot border color ff c656. I like the look of that. But I'm bummed. I refreshed the page and that's gone. And we said we were going to persist our state, right? I've used this word state a few times. My state is just the way things are, the current state of my data. All the data that I need to represent 
what's happening in my application. That's my state. And we're using that array to handle that. So perhaps when we promote a student, where is that? Oh, we're, this is it. Promote student. In addition to doing this, we can change the actual student object. Mm, say add a property called promoted and set it to true. What do you think of that? I don't have the student anymore. Promote student just receives the event. How can I find it? Hmm, DLI has the data ID, right? Could, I could use that. I could also, I suppose, pass it along with the event. To promote student, I mean bind, in addition to binding the value of this, will also let you pass additional arguments. What if we did that and passed in the student? Let's see. So this, comma, student. Let's see if that does what I'm hoping it does. Promote student. Let's hope it takes an event and a student. I don't know. Debugger. Mm -hmm, refresh. Try promoting him. Here we are. Ah, looks like the student is the mouse event. And the event is the student. So bind. First argument to bind is what you want to bind this to. Subsequent arguments are arguments that you want to send. Now that event is always going to get sent as the very last argument to an event handler. So the one that we passed in manually comes first, then the event. Get rid of our debugger. So now what I'm hoping is that I can say student dot promoted equals true. Now, there was no promoted property on there, but that's okay. We can add one this way. What does that do for me? Refresh. Let's promote where we're here. And let's look at mega roster dot students. Our first one is where we're, look at that, promoted true. Now that's a change in state. So we're gonna wanna save, right? Otherwise, local storage won't be updated. So if we do that, we refresh, we promote them again, we refresh again. Now he's still not highlighted, but if I look at mega roster students, that promoted value is there. So the data is persisting correctly. It's just not being reflected in the way it looks. Now, I think setting these styles manually in here is kind of gross. Let's put those things in our style sheets exactly the colors we're changing it to, that's not really part of our our behavior. What we're doing is just saying that the thing is promoted. Yeah. So it toggles it. Um, let's look at that in just a second, if that's all right. Let me finish this thought. 
So what I kind of want to do, let's put a rule in here. For anything with a class of promoted, I want background color. And remember in CSS, that would be background dash color. And I don't put quotes around my color. It's not a string. A color is an actual thing in CSS. And the border color. So this selector will match anything with a class of promoted. Okay, so instead what we could do here is just add that class. So let's find, let's find this li here. There it is. Now it's dollar sign zero because I selected it in the elements pane. So dollar sign zero. We know there's class list and class name. What about, is there like add class? Nope. There's not that either. We couldn't remove it that way. We can't add it that way. Kind of a bummer. But we could say li dot class name or class list and change something there. li dot class list dot push promoted. Does that do it? Refresh. Class list dot push is not a function. Bummer. Dot add. So let's find this guy again. He's there, so he's dollar sign zero. Student clear fix promoted. What if we click it again? Now, unlike push on an array, it's not going to add the same one again. So this thing's kind of smart. Say, is there a class list dot remove? Well, holy smokes. Could have saved ourselves some trouble. All right, that seems pretty good. So now we just need to make sure that that class gets added if the thing is um, loaded from local storage, right? Because the data is persisting, but it's not getting redrawn that way. So when we add a student, it does all this stuff, it builds the thing, it prepends the child. When we're building the list item, maybe a student's already promoted, we need to just call promote student right off the bat or something like that. We could say if student dot promoted. So what if we haven't set that value at all? It's going to be undefined. If we haven't set it to true, it's going to be undefined, and that's okay. Undefined is falsy. So if student promoted. We could say li.classList add promoted. Refresh. Ooh, he's promoted right off the bat. Sweet. It would be kind of cool if it toggled, though, wouldn't it? If clicking it again turned it off. You don't want to promote somebody forever. So let's go up to promote student. And let's say 
Hmm. I'm going to move this above. Student promoted equals true. Instead of that, how about we say it equals not student promoted? So if it's already promoted, that'll make it false. If it's not promoted, that'll make it true. And then we could say if student dot promoted add else we could remove it. What if we remove it and it's not there? Is that gonna be the end of the world? We'll see if that gives us any errors. So we set it equal to the opposite of its current value. And then if that ends up with it promoted, we add the promoted class. Otherwise, we remove the promoted class. Refresh. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So I turn it off, refresh the page, it's still off. Turn it on, refresh the page, still on. Promote them both. Okay. Demote him, refresh, it still persists. This seems to work. I like it. Yeah. Implement student promotion. <laughs> 